and so just to give you an idea what, how wedged this pipe is I just took off the the, the V clamp or the V band just to show here this is solid <laughs> against that there's no moving it so anyways both those two sensors are off and this thing is like I said <coughs> wedged solid in there so I'm gonna lift the body up again take this out and uh, test fit the other pipe and the first thing I can tell you that I notice is that if you put them at eye level you can see that the whole top band is different. All right, so here I have the two pipes uh, side by side. As you can tell, it's kind of obvious here. Um, one second. One pipe is a lot shorter than the other. Uh, obviously, this is the one I ordered from RJC. This is the one I ordered from whoever. The main difference I can see here, both of them are on the flanges. So, let, as if they were on the turbo. That way it can't be said that a uh, the ground was different or something you know but uh, anyway so you can see the bubble there you go straight and then look at that gap and this goes all the way through to about this point where uh, about here is where they become the same but then again here so you can see there if you look at the bubble that's a gap over there now the next thing that is actually uh, pretty interesting, which is what tells me why this thing didn't want to go in at all. If you look here, this has a hell of a lot more angle than the other pipe does. So this thing has a, a V here, so it centers itself on the on the pipe, on the flat. There you go. So that's a what does that say? Half inch. So this is this has a little bit more angle than this one because this one on the flat has three eighths so the most obvious thing here also is that this area right here um, I don't know how to describe it this pipes a lot straighter than this one is in this in this area right here and um, also here the drop even even with the neck down the drop here is a lot further so Pretty much what all that all this means is that this end here is kicked out this way which explains why I had to batter this whole area right here so it would clear the frame and then even then it was still riding on the frame as I showed you at the beginning of the video and it's just just bad uh, another thing uh, that is very obvious uh, is that this end pretty much once it's mounted on the turbo it's actually pointing a little lower than this one because the as you saw this one's pointing up and yeah the quality of the pipes amazingly is the same um it's just uh the shape is off it's off enough that it doesn't clear the heater box and yeah so that pretty much that's that does everything for it and uh you can see the two shapes diverge i got new bunks welded on this one i gotta slide it back in because uh, what i'm gonna do this time is that uh, i'm gonna put the dents for it to clear the control arm as you can see on this one i had to flatten the whole side and then just keep beating here because this is where the frame uh turns down onto the bottom of the car so all of this i had to just beat to get it to clear and uh yeah so these are the flanges um have you seen them in my videos before this one used to be about this big actually bigger because it was raw and i ended up grinding down a lot of excess metal drilling these holes to uh, lose some weight so this is the last time we'll be seeing this piece of crap uh packing it up to mail it out it's the next day uh still raining uh, weather's still looking bad but uh, I'm gonna continue doing the downpipe um, like I mentioned earlier I'm gonna be putting I'm gonna put it in right now I'm gonna mark the spots that I need to dent here and here just uh, just to make sure that it doesn't touch a frame when I torque when the engine torques to the side whenever you get on it so 
Let's get started with that. Uh, here soon, I'm gonna be taking it back to Anderson Performance to get it, to get the speed sensor installed on the drive shaft. Once that's done, it should allow me to uh, activate the traction control feature on the XFI box. So, I am blown away about the difference here. So, check this out. Corkscrew, gets a little tight, comes back out. Oh, gotta move the camera. Hold on. Look at this. What? Corkscrew. Goes back down. Work it out. Whoop. Fits right in. What a difference. So I'm actually kind of feeling bad that I hacked my car the way I did the, with the other pipe. Because uh, this one, shit, I could probably still put a full hand there. And although the, the suspension is a uh, half droop right now so I have it jacked up a little bit um, the whatchamacallit the control arm is not uh, it's not even touching it while on the other one it was sitting on it the whole time regardless of position <laughs> alright right now I'm just gonna mark it uh, just put a cautionary dent on it uh, just to clear the arm at uh, full travel so but other than that I don't think I'm going to be needing to do anything on that side. As you can see, you can even see the ground there. And uh, again, on the bottom, you can see that it's a lot better. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, the one thing that is different with this pipe is that I did have to trim this because to clear the heater box, what this pipe is doing is that it's coming out further and then kicking down over and back in which is what the uh other pipe was missing so uh yeah and uh once i get the clamp on there uh that should move it over a little bit but it should be perfect still so continuing on There is the dent for the control arm. I spared you the wrapping. Um, I was able to salvage that section. This is brand new wrap, as you can see. So uh, I could probably title this as the most expensive pipe wrap ever because uh, that was $100 worth of uh, wrap that went into this whole operation. And uh, here we go. Kind of glad that this whole thing is uh finally over with this one didn't give me any trouble going in but uh i'm having issues uh actually getting a full seal on the on the v-band but that i can actually fix fairly easy uh now i just need to get that thing on which i forgot to put on before i locked it up over here so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is uh, instead of having this slip fit, I'm just gonna cut it so I can put a V-band on, uh, not a V-band, uh, a band clamp on that. And then I can literally just slide it in between, put the band clamp to seal it, and uh, I don't have to be forcing anything into place. But uh, yeah, sure glad it's over with. Uh, now I'm going to continue working on my doors. Once the doors are on, I'll be putting up a, a short video of how I did the door panels and on to the next thing. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with anybody that may find it useful.